Hi, this is Derek Masiaga, test expert with study.com. Today I'm going to walk you through some place value and decimal questions that you may end up finding on the Praxis Elementary Education Math Test. Let's take a look. Question 1. What is the place value of 9 in the number 3,544,021.3927? A, 900, B, 9 tenths, C, 90, or D, 9 hundredths. All right, so the question is asking us to find the place value of 9, and thankfully there's only one 9 in this problem right there. And so I'm just going to kind of go over all the place values of this number, uh, at least the ones that we kind of need to know, and this is actually going to help us a little bit later on in some of the other problems in this video. Okay, so we have our decimal right here. And so everything on the left-hand side of the decimal, you know, starting from here, this would be our ones place. This is our tens place. This is our hundreds place. This is our thousands place, ten thousands place, hundred thousands place, and this is our millions place. Now, anything to the right of the decimal implies that it's less than one, and it gets a TH, right? So this is our tenths position, this is our hundredths position, this is our thousandths position, and on and on. So if we're looking at the nine, this is the hundredths position. And so our answer is choice D, nine hundredths. Question two, which number is the greatest? A, negative one half, B, negative three over two, C, negative five, D, negative 1, or E, negative 10. So they want us to answer the question, which number is the greatest? Now, all of these answer choices are negative. Now, if we even had one positive value, we would have known that that one positive value would have been the greatest. And so since we don't have any positive values, we're going to be looking for the number that is closest to a positive value. We could, we could even say, since these are all negative, which is the closest to zero? That's going to tell us which number is the greatest. And so negative 10 would actually be the least amount. It would be farthest away from zero because the more negative you get, the, the further away from zero you become. And so I can also eliminate negative 5. So now I'm down to negative 1 half, negative 3 over 2, or negative 1. And so negative 1 half, if, we, if you could even like put these into decimals, that would be like negative 0.5. Negative 3 over 2 would be like negative 1.5. And then we have D as negative 1. So out of these options... A is going to be the correct answer because negative 0.5 is closer to 0 than any of the other options that we have. Question 3. Round 14.52689 to 3 decimal places. So we want to go to 3 decimal places here. So 1, 2, 3. I'm going to be rounding it up or rounding it to that place value. And so just rounding rules, right? If it's five or above, we're going to round up. If it's less than five, we're going to round down. So because I have an eight here, I'm going to round this six up to seven. And so we should be at 14.527. And so the correct answer is going to be choice D. Question four. Suppose you have seven hundreds, five tens, two ones, nine tenths, four hundredths, and three thousandths. What number does this compose? So now you can see why back in problem one, I wanted to kind of go through all those place values. So seven hundreds, and it might just be helpful to kind of write this all out, right? So seven hundreds, so that's going to be in our hundreds place. Five tens is going to go in the tens place. Two ones is going to go in the ones place. That implies that now I have my decimal. Nine tenths, four hundredths, 
and three thousandths. So they actually kind of gave us everything in order from left to right. So our final answer here is gonna be 752.943, which is option B. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, check out our other videos, and then also make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of practice problems, like the ones I just walked you through, plus targeted instruction for any topics that you are still struggling with, as well as test strategy to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful, and then let us know down below in the comments if there are any specific topics that you want us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!